What's going on people? It's Greg here with another Excel VBA tutorial video. Today I'll be going over how to send multiple emails with multiple attachments. So let's get into it. Alright, so on the left, got my VBA editor. On the right, I've got a list of recipients, a list of subject lines, and then to the right of those are going to be attachments for each email that's going to go out. So um, as far as the attachments go, um, when trying to get the actual um, file path that you see here in these um, cells you can do one of two things uh, so you see how I have these files here in this folder what I can do here is right click copy address as text and then I can paste it here and then I can just throw the file on the end there like that or I can go here to the start menu and type the file name and then if I see the file I can go to copy path and that'll give me the entire file path so I won't have to add the actual file name itself so those are a couple of ways to get your file path to make it easy when inputting the file path into the cells okay so I've got all the file paths I want right now for my attachments so this email is going to be going to me at 123.com the subject is email subject one and it's going to have one attachment and then like this email that goes out is going to have three attachments this one's going to have two this one's going to have five so what we want to do is create is write our code so that no matter what we fill in these cells or how many attachments we decide to have whether it's five or twenty or three or one or however many recipients we want to have it'll work regardless so Let's go ahead and get into our code. Um, let's call this sub multi emails attachments. And we'll declare our variables. We're going to have out app as object, out mail as object. We're going to have ws as worksheet. We're going to also have str body for our string for our body and our email. And we're um, going to have a row count. We're going to have a column count, and then we'll just have an i and a j variable. Okay, so let's set ws our worksheet equal to this worksheet here. And the name for this worksheet is emails. So WS will equal this workbook sheets emails. And then what we're going to go ahead and do is just activate the sheet. And now we'll count our rows and our columns. So row count, we're going to be counting down from this cell here from A1. So we're going to do worksheet function count a count a and we're going to do range a1 and then range a1 end and we're going to be counting down so we want xl down and then for our column count we're going to be counting to the right. We want to count the number of columns. So let's just go ahead and copy this. And paste it. And instead of going down, we're going to do XL to the right. All right. So we've got that. Now what we want to do is create a loop. And we'll go ahead and use a for loop for this. So for i equals 2, we're going to want i to count down, and we're going to use j to count to the right. So i is going to be counting the number of recipients. And we want i to start at 2, because that's where our recipients start in cell 2, a2. So i equals 2, and then it's going to go for i equals 2 to the row count. So at this point, our row count will be 5. So we expect it to go from 2 to 5. And we're going to say next i. So now we're inside the loop here. And here we're going to set 
out app equal to create object and we want to access the Outlook application and then we're going to set out mail equal to the out app uh, create item and we're going to throw a zero in there okay so now for our string body str body we're going to go ahead and select our body style this is for the email body body style is going to be um, so our font let's go with 12 and then our font family we'll do Arial and then I want to continue this line so what I'm going to do is an ampersand and an underscore to keep it going so we're going to say hi team is like our greeting and then have a paragraph space please see file attached and then another space And now I'm going to do another ampersand and an underscore to keep the line going again. And then I'm going to say thanks and a regular pair uh, line break. And then my name, Greg. So it'll say, hi, team. And it'll go down a line. And it'll say, please see files attached. And it'll say, thanks, Greg. OK, and I just realized I spelled attachment wrong every single time here. Sorry about that. Let me go ahead and get rid of those E's. All right. So now we want to on error resume next and with out mail we're going to be sending this to we're going to reference WS so WS our worksheet over here and we want cells and you can think of it kind of like uh, X and Y coordinates um, except you'd flip so we're going to go down for the first parameter so I the variable I is what's moving down so we want I and then we're not going to move over to the right at all we're going to stay in this first column so we're just going to put a 1 there. And then we want the text in that cell. So we're going to CC, no one in this example, um, BCC, no one. And then um, the subject is going to be similar. We're going to do cells. And this time it's going to be I2, because we're literally just pulling from this column. And every time we go through the loop, it's going to move down. And then now we want to hit display so we can see the email display before we get sent out. And then we're going to do HTML body equals str body and dot HTML body. And then here's where we're going to add our attachment. So we're going to have another loop, another for loop inside of the for loop, a nested for loop. So for J equals three, because we want to start here in column three, and or uh, C, sorry. Um, so you want to start here in three and then go over to the number of columns that we counted. So for J equals three to column count, we're going to do attachments, add, and we're going to reference our sheet again. So WS cells. And this time we're going to do I as we're moving down and then J as we're moving to the right. And we want the text. And then we got to close our loop. So we'll close it with the next J. 
All right, so then after that loop, what we're going to do is end our width. So we're going to end this loop that we're in. And on error, go to zero. And then we're going to set out mail equal to nothing. And we're also going to set out app equal to nothing. All right, and that should do it as long as we don't have any errors. So let's go ahead and see this thing run. And as you can see, all the emails are populating. So if we want to just do a quick check, we can see that uh, we've got five attachments on this last email, and they're all here. Um, we've got our greeting, hi team, please see file it's attached. We've got our email subject four, and then we got three here. And you see the recipients are changing. And this one actually has two recipients. So let's go ahead and change it up a little bit and then run it again. So let's maybe add these up here and let's delete these columns. So we should see uh, five, e let's delete this one as well. So we should see three emails, each with three attachments. So let's run it. There's one, two, three. So yeah, simple as that. Now we're able to send bulk emails with multiple attachments at the same time to multiple recipients. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Have a good one.